Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fader and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for April 8th, 2016. So we begin the day with a moon which is void of course. If you are in Central Europe, if you are in the States, you'll be waking up to a moon in Taurus already. But if you are in Central Europe until about 8 a.m., there's going to be a moon that's void of course later on. It's going into Taurus. It's promising to bring a pleasant, satisfying weekend to us all. The moon is conjunct Mercury at around 1500 hours Central European time. That's around 900 hours AM Eastern Standard Time. And this conjunction to Mercury between the planet of thoughts and words to the planet, well, the body, the moon, the celestial body that's in charge of our emotional world is beautiful because it uh, strengthens and clears communication pathways between the more logical part within us and the more emotional part within us. Usually these parts don't speak the same language, but when this conjunction occurs, our hearts and minds speak the same language. And it's a time that our intuition could be really clear, that we could get glimpses that really um, unfold what is true for us and what is right for us on an emotional level and we are able to formulate thoughts and patterns around that in order to navigate towards satisfactions of uh, towards satisfaction of those emotional needs in our life because mercury has a lot to do with satisfaction as well we could be a little scattered we could be uh, um, trying to keep up with few things at a time, few subjects at a time, run from one subject to the next. But our mind is agile and the pathways are clear between those two systems. So utilize that. There is a quincunx between the Moon and Mars at around 2100 hours. And of course, every transit I'm talking about, we could feel it hours ahead already. So there's a quincunx to Mars at around 2100 hours Central European time, that's around 1500 hours Eastern Standard Time, talking about the purification of our actions, purification of our lower chakras needs, understanding that um, our cravings and our needs don't have to be satisfied completely right now and some things are better left behind are better left undone we have to be very sensitive at this time to how our actions affect people in our surroundings because it's a time of purification of those chakras within us and we could be a little cranky at that time so we have to watch that and not lash out on other people and that is even strengthened because the sun is still squaring Pluto in the sky. It is moving away, but it's still squaring Pluto. It's a time of drama. It's a time of change. It's a time of personal evolution for all of us. For all of us. And we want it to be pleasant. We want it to be positive both for us and people around us. So uh, try not to make it volcanic. Keep the drama away. And uh, the sun is still conjunct Uranus. It's a time of letting the future unfold into the present, bringing uh, these concepts into realization, allowing change to happen, stepping out of our comfort zone into new territory, thinking outside the box, exploring new avenues and, and, and new concepts and walking pathways we haven't walked before. So. May we all have a beautiful weekend. May we enjoy the weather in the skies and the weather in the heavens. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.